good to my fist up my ass half as much if she had to have been kissing me on back at neck at the time I'm not sure if that were it, you know They say I might as well face the truth But I am just too long in the tooth So I'm an OAP and weak knee But I have not yet quite gone to see Currently I have it 53 years old I know that might surprise a lot of you thought I was 78 and... But I've started to notice the ageing process Daft little things uh, For instance, farting I do a lot more of it And it hurts We well, used to do one and giggle and I go ooh Um, so that's a strange one, maybe our soul gets tighter as you get older. I thought it would have been opposite after all them years of chucking logs out. So that's one. And obviously I'm bald, mostly. I mean, where's it gone? I'd notice air running down the plug hole, no matter shower or bath. But they are gone. And I won't mind that if it saves money on shampoo. But it's enough to shampoo all your head anyway. And then there's getting out of chair. I was sat watching something on YouTube or some sort of film on telly. I think, oh, I'll get up and have a brew. And I get out of chair and go, oh. And I take a minute to de stiffen. No more springing out of chairs for me. I'm pissing. My blood has shrunk as I've got older. I drink a cup of tea now, I piss 15. So I don't know what's going on there either. And kitchens. What is it about kitchens? What the fuck am I coming in for? I'll go back through what I would do with. No, still I'm coming back to me. It's gone. Very important? I don't know. Have a look there. Notes. Notes springs to mind. I'll make a cup of tea. Where's my cup gone? Where's my fucking cup gone? I get a run out of cup, I'd make a cup of tea, go sit down, I've got a cup of tea already there on coffee table. What the fuck's that all about? I didn't even remember I'd got a cup of tea. But then I remembered why I'd got in the kitchen in the first place. It was to get myself one of my Rocky Robins, or whatever they call biscuits. I love them. I've got to get back up now. There's a guy in chair. Oh, there's a D stiffen. I'll go fetch a biscuit. There goes my biscuit. Then was my first cup of tea, I may as well drink second, it's cooked there nice enough. Because you can't drink a cup of tea, but it's too hot when you get in a tilda. Oh no. So I down me other cup of tea. Oh, right, I'll take the cups into the kitchen, rinse them out, pull them in the sink. Because you have to rinse everything out now, you don't just chuck them in the sink and leave them on the table so you can be asked to get up. It's a special trip now. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm out of chair. Uh, I'm doing safe from and the cups and into the kitchen, rinse them out, job done, very indigestion there. That fucking chocolate biscuits give me indigestion. Great. I've got to get up again. <laughs> you don't want to see my hand out, don't you? So I'm up again, and yeah, now I'm in my fifties, I have a medicine drawer. Oh, uh, there's everything in there. I've got tablets that's supposed to be just for back pain. I've got tablets that are for headaches. I've got tablets that calm me books down. I've got a fucking tablet for every occasion. Loads of them. So I'll go and get the sun a Gaviscon. That'll take care of indigestion. Alright. No problem, job done. 
Yeah, the gesture's not gone off. But I've had one of my tablets, so I feel better. But you've got to have tablets when you get older. Good supply on them. Another thing I get into 50 plus is doctors. When I used to go to doctors, and questions were, they smoke? Well, yeah, I did use to. Do you drink? Yeah, I did use to. Blah, blah, blah. Now, nah, they don't bother with questions. They slap me on my side, they stick a finger up my ass. Ooh. What's that for? Fucking flies. So, as I was saying, I've got at doctors now and there's not really much of a chat. That's all they do is say, just go behind that screen, drop your trousers, lay on your side, put one knee up to your chest, I'll be through in a minute. Alright. Now first time it was a bit of a shock, but I am very used to it now. So there you are, on your side, no kecks, knee up to the chest, and you hear this She got it whip her or what? No, no. She's pulling on. No rubber gloves, of course. Alright, here we go, I'm thinking. Then you this. What's that? Hopeful. She's a little bit glove up. That don't sound good, does it? Then BANG! You fucking bitch! Oh! Right up the ass! Finger straight up me fucking ass to the third knuckle. Twists it round. Pushes it in a bit further. I think she's going to follow through with her fist here. Twisting and poking. The fuck she doing? So I'm letting out this little wimpy like a baby who's just had a good slap on ass for spilling his milk then she says is that uncomfortable well yeah it's an exit not an entrance and that's just jammed half the fist up it that's my ass you're widening thank you very much well I want to mind a fist up my ass Half as much. If she had to be kissing me on back at neck at time. <laughs> I'm not sure if that were eight, you know. I'll have to look up the medical procedure and check that. You dirty bird. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so there's another downside. Doctors grow an obsession with your arse and your genitals. And we always want samples. Any shit in this pot? How the fuck am I going to do that? It's only got a one inch wide neck. Can you piss in this pot? I can manage that. And blood tests. We'll have to give you a blood test. Why? Well, we're just checking for checking for what? It's just a check on your general health. Well, have a look at me for fuck's sake. I look healthy enough, don't I? I've stopped smoking, I've stopped drinking. I had a long time ago. I've probably never been as fit even. I know I'm going old. I know I'm going grey, my hair's falling out. So I get some sort of blood tests again. Like the dutiful little patient I am. You're gonna feel a slight scratch, says this fat cow. Yeah, right. And I look at her and think, a slight scratch. And then I think, well, at least on the right side, looking at them fingers, it were too jamming one up in arse. Because that would hurt, they're about two inch thick, these fingers on this nurse. So she straps up my arm, now they do. Starts slapping me. Well, I'm going to thump in a bit, you fat twat. Starts slapping me. And I don't know, it's stinging. I thought, oh, what's this? A get used to the pain at slap, I'll not feel the needle going. Then, oh fucking hell, that went a little scratchy line twat. I just stuck a six inch nail in my arm, I feel on it. She sucks out some blood, I think, thank fuck for that. 
And then, needles left in my arm, she screws another syringe on it, whatever they do. I'm thinking, they're wobbling that about, that's it's hurting. I'm going to take it out in a bit, I'm going to pop it in the eyeball. You see how that fucking likes it when I wobble it about. Anyway, another syringe full comes out. I think, when I look in the mirror, I'm going to be white, I'm sure she's took a for gallon out. She sticks this little stupid plaster, I didn't even get a biscuit and a cup of tea. So I'm getting all mixed up by then. Thinking I was donating blood, she took that much. Anyway, she sticks this little round plaster on it. And a bit of fluff. A bit of white fluffy stuff. So that's it. I can roll the sleeve down there. And at first I thought, I wonder if my sleeve will actually go past that, it feels swollen to me. Anyway, great, goes to work, comes on, <coughs> oh, I had to go out of the chair and make a cup of tea, takes my shirt off, my fucking arm's purple, I'm bruised from the elbow down to my wrist nearly, I'm thinking, hey where are six inch nails you put in me? And so then, another sign of going out I think, I know, I'll Google this, see if it's normal, because now it's normal when you get to 50, oh no, everything's a serious illness, it, it's like some sort of fear of dying, oh my god my arm's gone purple, I'm dying, I know I would, I'm in my 50s, so I Googles it, well, there's no mention of this anywhere I can find. I just think she's injected me with purple dye. Use the wrong needle. And another downside to going old. Actually, I don't know if it's a downside. This might be an upside. Patience. No, I don't mean being a patient. I mean not having patience. I think as you get a bit older, you realise time's a bit more precious because years do fly, don't. Yes, fly by. So I prefer directness now. I don't want people making long winded stories. Just tell me facts. Simple as that. Get to the fucking point. I'm dying here, you know. I don't want to waste three minutes with someone you could tell me in ten seconds. So I'll not get them three minutes back, pal, alright? A bit different when you're younger. Fuck it, I'll stop in bed all day today. Two o'clock, you get up and then lounge in the chair. Thinking about what you did with that bird last night. And how he hopes she's not in pub tonight when you go around town. And she comes over and all your mates say, uh, that didn't shag that, did they? Yeah, I did. Yeah. And then they're honest with you. They did last week. Anyway, I digress. So yeah, patience. Time is more precious. I don't want to go to bed at night nowadays. Fuck me another day's end of, you know, and I look and I think, hold on a minute, 50 fucking three, 50 fucking three, I've got to live to be 106 if I'm halfway, that's not going to happen, I've passed halfway now, what the fuck?